Nottingham University, the Energy Technologies Building, brand spanking new, paid for with a sizeable EU grant. And I'm here to see Professor Gavin Walker to talk about some world-changing hydrogen technology. This uh, is a very interesting metal that will actually um, suck hydrogen in. And one of the advantages of this is that it means we can store hydrogen much more compactly than if we just use compressed gas like the 700 bar tanks that are currently being used. And so uh, as, a, as a demonstration, um, we've got the, this alloy inside the, uh, the tube here. Now we can fill the alloy up with hydrogen, but at relatively low pressures. So we only need like five bar of hydrogen and we get all the hydrogen in here. But we don't need the thick walls to uh, contain that hydrogen. This is actually going to operate uh, at just above ambient pressure. So uh, I can just open up this store, hydrogen store, to the fuel cell here. And you can see that we've it's got... It's producing energy. Immediately getting electricity that's powering the motor. But this is just open directly. We've got no high pressures, so we've not got those safety issues about how do we contain and make sure that the manifold and everything can withstand that pressure. This is effectively your tank, Yep. your car tank. This is your fuel cell, and this is the wheels going round. That's it. Simple as that. So tell us, what is Eco Island? With the current hydrogen refueler that we have, we're looking at monitoring the performance data for that hydrogen refueler, and we're going to be passing that information on to ITM Power that's going to help them develop their scaled up hydrogen refueler. And then extrapolating that, presumably, with your data out into a much larger area. Exactly right, yes. I'm planning to monitor all various uh, performance parameters in the hydrogen fueling station installed in our campus. And then I will introduce solutions uh, to, decre to decrease the hydrogen production cost, which is one of the most important challenges with hydrogen economy. And the EU have been really supportive here, haven't they? They've, they've given you a fair old wedge of cash. Yes, the funding that we've had that's helped to um, support the ITM power refueler, hydrogen refueler, is from uh, the European Regional Development Fund. That has been awarded so that we can actually collaborate with local SMEs. And having the hydrogen refueler on site here, then we can actually collaborate with local companies that want to try out hydrogen vehicles for their own purposes and so they've got a point where they can come refuel their vehicles. The hydrogen refueling station that's just been commissioned at uh, Nottingham University that's part of the energy centre. It's particularly exciting because it's making hydrogen on site for the campus so they don't need to import fuel, they're making their own fuel. So Nottingham is now a fuel producer. So that is nine million quid, very, very well spent, because not only are you getting all this research and development here in Nottingham, pushing the whole hydrogen cause forward, but you're getting it percolating back into the local community. So as, as EU grants go, this has to be one of the best and one of the most valuable and far-reaching. I'm studying a four-year PhD at the moment, so I'm currently halfway through. As a background, I'm an automotive and aerospace engineer, so when I got the chance to develop the next generation of storage on, for onboard application, I jumped at the opportunity. And my job at the moment is to design and build the next generation of fuel tanks and vehicles. I'm really, really excited about it. I'm sure that research we conduct makes a significant contribution to hydrogen in the economy. At the moment, being at Nottingham, we're a world-leading centre of hydrogen research and I feel that our applications and our research in the next 10 to 20 years will make a huge impact on the global scale with companies such as large companies such as Hyundai, BMW and so forth. <laughs>